Welcome, welcome everybody to a new My Hero Academia video and guys today I bring to you the ultimate calculator made by my good friend Roxis, Roxix <laughs> on Discord and um, so yeah this is going to be the ultimate calculator for you guys hopefully you uh, find it very very useful like I do and so let's let me just uh, like uh, give you guys a little tour uh, of the calculator right and um, let me show you what you can do you can see right down here that there are several different things that you can do so it's the ultimate calculator like i said so the first thing that we can do is basically um basically just calculate how much xp xp do you need or yeah how much xp basically do you need how many runs on the cafeteria do you need for uh to upgrade your heroes to certain levels right so Basically, right here on the very left, you're going to input how much of each of these foods you have right in your account, how, how many of each of these items you have in your account. Right now, it's just marked zero on everything. I have nothing. We're starting from scratch, right? So if you do have like, let's say you have like 10 soba noodles, noodles, then you will see right here, right here that it will tell you, okay, so with those soba noodles that you do have in your account, you have 2000, um, you have 2000 XP available, right? So let's say that I'm starting from scratch. So basically those 2000 XP would be subtracted from the total here, up, up here, right? Um, so let's say I want to upgrade a character from uh, from zero to level uh, 90, right? 90 is the highest that, the, that this calculator goes, by, by the way. Do not input 100 or 110, 120. Uh, really 90 is all you really need. 100 and onwards doesn't really do that much. Um, so 90 is is the, the level that you should definitely just aim for with your characters because at 90 is when you can max out your skills Which is again doesn't really do that much, but it does add up a little bit. So uh, definitely 90 uh, The other the other levels don't matter that much, right? They will give you more BP, but not by a lot, right? So um, Basically, yeah, so if I mark 90, I have no food right in my account. I'm going to need this amount of H, eh, eh, not HP, <laughs> this amount of XP, right? Uh, this many runs in the cafeteria. Uh, I'm not sure if this is actually affecting that. Yes, okay. So let me just do this. So if I have, oh, well, never mind. So uh, I have one character at, that's a level zero, right? And I want to, uh, I want to get him to level 90, right? So I'm gonna need this amount of XP going to uh, have to farm all of this right um, obviously because I don't have any food in my account so I have to start from scratch I have to farm all of the XP that I need but again if I had 50 soba noodles then I would have to farm a lot less right so um, so yeah then we have I, that I would have to run the, on the cafeteria 47 times it would require a thousand uh, over a thousand stamina and you uh, if you do all 20 runs per day, it would take you to what time left if 20 runs. Huh? Not sure. Not sure what this one mean, means. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't make this guide. I'm just showing it. Um, so, yeah, then we have this uh, middle column right here. So basically what this is going to do is you can input here basically which characters to, or how many characters do you have or how many characters you are aiming to level up. So this is basically very good for Aizawa, right? For all, all those beginners that are trying to get Aizawa. So let's say you have two characters at 30, you have like three characters at 50, and you have, I don't know, two characters at 20. How many did you need for Aizawa? It's, I think it was, how many? It was uh, eight? Let's say it was eight characters. Um, And you need to get them, I think, was it to level 80? I think it was to level 80. So let's say, I, I'm probably wrong, but let's just say, right? So uh, this is this is the characters that I have in my account, right? So this is all the food that I have. Let's say since I'm a beginner, I'm going to probably going to have a lot. Say I have like 150 of that. Let's say I have like 200 of that, and let's say I have like 500 of those. So uh, this is basically how much XP I need to farm. Uh, I need to farm in order to get all of my characters to level 80, right, and get Aizawa, pretty much. This is how many times I would have to run in the cafeteria. This is how many how many days I have left, I think, uh, to do this if I'm doing all 20 runs in the cafeteria per day. This is how much stamina I'm going to need. It looks very intimidating, but it really isn't all that much, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, you'll have plenty of resources to go around. So yeah, hopefully that's that's useful to you guys. Let's just go to the next one. So this one is a little more straightforward. This one will show you um, basically how many credits, how much money 
will you need in order to um in order to just uh, upgrade your characters pretty much right um so so yeah uh there's there's quite a, a lot of information here that there's there's a ton of information actually um so yeah you have training you have the passive skills you have uh you know normal attacks apticos ultimates uh so pretty much this is you know the skills that you need to upgrade how much each of them costs right it only goes to 90 again because uh after 90 or at level 90 is when you actually max out all of your skills and you don't need any more than 90 any more than that it just gives you a little bit of vp but it's not a big difference so i wouldn't recommend going further unless you just want bragging rights or you just really like the character um, or you're just very annoyed by the game or constantly pushing you to uh, do it by showing you that little red dot that drives me crazy. Um, so let's say that I have a character at level 1, right, and I want to get him to level 90, and let's say that my character is actually just, let's say it's an S character, right? So I'm going to need this amount of money, right, this, that amount of money, let me just expand this a little bit, there we go, I'm going to need this amount of money. Uh, I'm going to farm all of this money. Let's say I have no money, right? If I have no money, then I have to farm all of this. I have to uh, run the, the like, uh, this is like the money version of the cafeteria, basically. Uh, this many times, 62 times, and I have uh, three days left to do it, right? Until I, I reach it, four days technically. But let's say I have like a million money already, right? A million credits already. In that case, it's, it goes down a little bit, not not really a lot, but it goes, I think this is 100,000. Uh, uh, that's 10,000, 100,000, 1 million. There we go. Uh, so it reduces sub substantially, right? But like, again, if you're a beginner, don't you worry. It looks like, it, like this looked like very big numbers, but it's not that big a deal. If you're a beginner, you'll have plenty of resources to go around. So yeah. Uh, then we have the talent trees. The talent trees, basically, um, you, you might be a little bit confused about why it says levels here. So levels are pretty much any time that you activate a new keystone. Not that you activate a new keys, keystone, but you, that you pay for a new keystone, right? Or for a new uh, upgrade on the keystones that you have. Hopefully you guys understand what I mean, right? Because the smaller keystones have four upgrades. So each time that you upgrade them, that's one level, right? Same thing with the medium uh, keystones that are two upgrades. Each one is a level and the big ones are only one, but it's still an upgrade. So basically, if you um, if you have your character at uh, B, A or S, you can upgrade two branches on your talent tree, right? And you can then upgrade a few, like three or four uh, extra keystones, but that's it until you get them to SS or above, right? And then you can upgrade actually your entire tree. If you guys didn't know that, now you know that. Um, so, uh, basically when it says tickets, tickets here, this it basically refers to the tickets that you get from a uh, super cop, right? When you do super cop, every hour you get a certain amount of tickets, depending on the rank that you're in. And those tickets, you can use them to buy, I think it's either Uraraka's or Midoriya's skin that I definitely don't recommend buying. Um, so yeah, basically. Uh, you can just input, let's say I have 150 tickets because, you know, I just woke up and, it, you know, it's been automatically farming all night. So I have 150 tickets. Uh, let's say, yeah, this is actually how much I'm, I'm making right now. I'm making 51 tickets every hour. So, yeah, let's say I have very little factors because I just upgraded a character. And I have a character at 30, uh, level 31 in my talents, right? So basically I upgraded both talent, uh, both branches that I'm allowed to write while they are at S. So let's say that now that I upgraded him to SS, right? And now I want to know how much uh, ticket, how many tickets or how much, uh, how many talents do I need to actually finish the talent tree? So um, here is basically what you need to know, right? So you have it right here, 31. So at 32, I'm going to need this amount of talent, of, of uh, factors in order to upgrade the talent, 35,000, that is insane. And basically uh, 440,000 factors is what you're going to need if you want to go from zero to 32 uh, levels in your talent tree, right? So, so same thing applies to everything else, right? But it's pretty, pretty standard. So let's say that I want to, um, 
that I want to take my character that's at th uh, level 31. I want to I just assess him and I want to take him to 42. So let's just type 42 right there. And this is what I need, right? I'm going to need 650,000 uh, factors. I'm going to need uh, 21,000 tickets, right? And the, basically 429 hours of Super Cop running in the back, earning me 51 tickets per hour. And so that's basically 17, 18 days. Uh, hopefully that is clear, guys. I think it's this This uh, is actually very, very understandable. Everything is color coded. Uh, I think all you need to know is what each of these things actually mean. Again, these tickets is just the super co-op tickets. The um, current ticket gains is how many tickets you make per hour, depending on your rank on super co-op. Uh, current amount of factors is basically how many factors you have uh, when it comes to speed, technical, or power, right? And uh, and then just what uh, level is your character, how many keystones, how many times you've upgraded your keystones in your talent tree on your character, right? Uh, then we have Hero Resonance. Um, this is, again, pretty straightforward. You can actually just find it here. Uh, you can you can actually calculate how many uh, shards you need in order to get to a certain point. But, um, you know, uh, if you just want to know in general, you have here the, the, the general data, right? Um, you need basically a ton, let's just say you need a ton of shards to get to a triple S plus. Um, so yeah, anyways, <laughs> uh, I think this one is pretty straightforward. This is this one's very easy, right? Uh, how many um, hero trials do you have available, right? Uh, the, the reason why it's asking this is because uh, when you first started the game, you can only do three, but you can buy two more runs per day in the buff shop that I do highly recommend that you do that. Uh, obviously, it's going to ask you what rank your hero is currently, uh, how much have you progressed in your resonance, uh, how many shards you have, right? Like, like after progressing, how many shards you have in your um, in your in your bag, basically, and uh, what what rank do you want to get to? And then it's just basically going to tell you, okay, you need this many shards, uh, you need to run your hero trial this many times in order to reach it, etc., etc. Right? Pretty straightforward again. Then we have the furniture for the dorm. This actually looks a lot more intimidating than it actually is. It's not that complicated. Um, so basically the ones that are color coded are part of the sets, right? Summer set, Japanese set, summer set, Japanese set. There are two sets E for each. Uh, and basically it's just going to tell you what is the price for each item, right? And then it's going to tell you how much comfort it's going to give you and therefore uh, what is the price for for one comfort point? Basically, uh, what you can basically get from this calculator is uh, which items are the most worth, right? So which items are the cheapest and give you the most value for your dorm points, right? So uh, hopefully that's understandable. And yeah, that's going to be it for the ultimate calculator for my hero guides. Uh, I hopefully, not guides, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys. Uh, I, th I hope everything was understandable. If not, guys, I will of course leave uh, Rogue Six um, contact information in the description so you can go uh, text him on Discord and ask him if you have any doubts. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave a link in the description, guys. Basically, all you have to do is just make a copy, obviously, because you can't modify the original, or you know, we would have trolls making a mess out of it so um so yeah guys uh i'm just gonna leave it in the description i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it was understandable uh leave a like if you enjoyed leave a comment what do you think and subscribe if you like more videos like this and i'll see you guys on the next one